Hello guys and girls, this is Billy Diadas from Olive Spiral Leathercraft. I haven't made a video in quite a while because I was really busy doing this summer, but I have a new pattern for you, and it's this here. Kind of reminds you of the tool bag if you watched the previous videos, but uh, this is a little smaller version. It's like a multi purpose belt bag or belt pouch or whatever. I designed this for a friend who has a restaurant and he wanted some bags for his waiters to carry like their wallets and a pen and a paper and a block or whatever waiters carry. But I mean, I can use this for photography, hang it on my belt and put an extra lens in there or batteries or whatever. I mean, you could possibly use it for gardening or really for a lot of things. So yeah, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this little multi-purpose bed pouch. Enjoy! Okay guys, I have already cut out all of the pieces, the front pocket, the top loop out of this thick, thicker leather, it's almost 5mm thick veg tan leather that I use for belts usually, in this case I'm going to use it for the top loop of the bag, and of course the main body of the bag. So you can see there are still no marks on there, no marks for stitching, no marks for rivets and so on, and I'm just going to use uh, the patterns, as you can see, they have all of these stitching holes marked and the big marks here at the corners for rivets. So yeah, I'm just gonna use these to mark all of the stitching lines so I can then punch the stitching holes and do some stitching. But yeah, you're gonna see that in the next uh, few minutes. <laughs> Alright, I've marked all of the stitching lines as you can see on the outside pocket and here on the loop. First of all I'm going to use this 3mm single hole punch to punch all of the holes for the rivets. And after that I'm going to use this uh, pricking iron here or multi hole punch or whatever it's called to punch the stitching holes all along these edges and along the stitch lines. Now, you can do it with any tool you like or you have. You can use one like this, which makes round holes. You can, make, you can use a pricking iron like this, which makes the diamond shaped holes. Or a single hole punch, one millimeter diameter for example, and punch the holes exactly as marked in the pattern. Or you can do it as I'm doing it right now, where I use the marks on the pattern as a guideline to mark a stitch line and then use whatever tool I like for each project. So it's really up to you on how you want to use the pattern and what works for you for making your own bag. Alright, as you can see, I've punched all of the stitching holes and rivet holes on the pocket, the loop, and on the main body. And what I'm gonna do now 
before starting to stitch anything together, I'm gonna bevel some edges. For example, on the front pocket, especially with the top one where the opening is, but I'm also gonna bevel and slick the edges around the bottom because it just looks nicer. Gonna bevel the edges on the top loop especially, and I'm also gonna paint the edge on this leather, which just make it which just makes it look so much nicer, cleaner and neater. Now on the big bag, the edges which are gonna be stitched together to like close the bag, they're gonna be on the inside of the bag, so it's not that important to bevel them, but I'm gonna bevel the edges along the sides here, which are quite visible, and probably also here on this side. Even though we're gonna fold it over, I still like to bevel these because it just makes for a nicer finish. But it's up to you, it's totally an optional step. All right, all right. Now we have our bevels edged. We have our edges beveled on the front pocket, all around, but especially on the top. On the top loop, all around, quite important. This is a very visible piece. And this edge here and the sides here, which are visible on the main bag. Now we can actually start with our first stitches. The first stitch that I usually like to do is this fold here on the top. We have these two holes lined up and we're gonna take the outside of the lever, the glossy side, not the flesh side, the outside and we're gonna fold it that way and we're just gonna stitch along that line and create this kind of tunnel here in which we're gonna place a, a piece of wire to reinforce the edge of the bag which is gonna hold it open and make it quite a bit more functional. After the fold I like to saw in the outside pocket. Then what we do is stitch the main body of the bag together inside out. So the glossy side of the leather is gonna be on the inside. We're gonna stitch it together like this, flesh side out, and we're gonna then turn it inside out. And finally, we then can stitch on the belt loop. But yeah, we're gonna see it in the next few minutes. All right, we have the top. Uh, right, 
with the top folded over and stitched together we have the outside pocket pen pocket and like random pocket uh, stitched on and the corners reinforced with rivets what remains now to be done is to stitch the back together inside out so i'm just gonna fold it in half flesh side out and start stitching from the bottom of the bag to the top and also again reinforcing the corner with a rivet and yeah at the end then just uh, turning the bag inside out final step stitching this thing on the top loop and we're done pretty easy isn't it Okay, we have everything stitched together and the corners secured with the rivets, so it's time to turn it inside out. This sometimes it's a little bit tricky, it takes a little bit of force, but don't worry, you're not gonna damage it. Okay, bug turned inside out with the outside pockets. Now the only thing remaining is to stitch on and rivet on the top loop here on that flap but still remains so that you can then feed it through the belt and actually use it I usually start with the rivets just to keep it in place and then I just stitch that stitch line and a little note these flaps here on the ends of the rolled over part these are also gonna be riveted together with the flap here on the back side. This keeps the sides nice and tidy. A little detail because the straps we riveted in on the back side from the sides don't have the first couple or three stitching holes now that we riveted it together we need to use our hole punch and punch through the first few holes on either side in order to yeah, punch the missing holes into the straps coming from the back so we can stitch it together nicely All right, we have our bag pretty much ready. Now, one step I like to do, which is kind of optional, but I always do it. I install a piece of wire here onto the rolled edge. I just push it in here from the back all around. And this just helps support the edge of the bag. It helps it keep open if you want it to be open. If you press it closed, the wire bends and it just stays closed. And it's a feature I really like, so I always do it. I just used a piece of wire like this. I bent the edges over so there is no point that can damage the leather. And now I just push it in here from the back. Just like that. Use needle nose pliers to just push it in all the way at the end because it gets a little difficult as we go to the end. Now the shape is a little weird so we just bend the wire the way we like 
and we have a nicely supported opening to the back. And yeah, that's it folks. You just hang it from your belt, like that. You have your big pocket, you have your pen loop, you have your bigger outside pocket. Now, you can customize this design depending on your needs. You can add extra loops here on the inside like I do on my two bugs. You can add an extra loop or something here on that piece to hang whatever, I don't know. This is a multi-purpose tool bag or belt bag or belt pouch or whatever. So you really have to customize it and make it your own depending on your use case. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or anything or if you have any other pattern ideas, something you would like me to make for you and show you how to make it by yourself. And yeah, if you make one, post it in the Facebook group and like the video, subscribe, helps a lot. And yeah, stay tuned for more stuff. See you in the next time. Bye.